Hi everyone, this is Karen. I don't know if there are going to be changes to this, but at this point Design Space doesn't let you create your own shadows. So if I wanted to make um, a title and have a uh, sorry a welded shadow behind my text, then I would do that in Make the Cut, save it as an SVG file and then bring that into Design Space. Um, so the way I would do that is I would start to create some text. Uh, let's see, I'm going to type in just welding my text. I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose Shape Magic, and I'm going to create a shadow layer. I don't want it as thick as this, so just bring it down a little bit. I just want it to be a very slight shadow. And you can see as it's going down in the window, and I'll accept that. Then when I want to move away the main part of the text, I just need to hold my mouse, hover my mouse over my words. At this point, the main text is selected. And if I hold it over and I see that the whole outline is selected, that means that my shadow is selected. This is my main text and this is my shadow. So now I'm going to choose my main text and pull it away. And you can see that my shadow has welded together very nicely. I'm going to keep those separate when I save it as an SVG file. So in Make the Cut, you need to select everything you want to save as an SVG file, and then choose File, Export, and then choose Selected to SVG File. And I'm going to call this Welding My Text. And in my Digital Cutting Files, I'm going to move down to Text. Double click that, and I'm just going to call this Welding My Text Test, and I'll give it an SVG extension and save it. And then I'm going to go to Design Space on my Mac, on the Mac side, I should say. I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to be inserting an image after I'm going to upload an image. And I need to tell it my password. I was already logged in, but that's kind of strange. Okay, so now I want to upload a vector file. An SVG file is a vector file. So I'll click that. I'm going to browse for it and it's going to be in my documents. Okay, so it's already in my directory. Uh, let's see, I'm looking for text and welding my text test SVG file and I can see it there so I'll open that and there we go, there's my text. So now I'll save the image and it should open it up on my screen. No, I need to select it and insert the images, that's right. There is my text. So now that was quite big. I'm going to right click and ungroup that so that I can move this over here and make sure that it's going to fit nicely. It does. So I can choose to have different colors for these. I'm going to make this one orange and I'm going to make this one, <clears throat> excuse me, another color just so that it shows better. And when I want to cut, it's going to cut on two different mats. So then I would click C for cut. It's going to create the mats for me. There is the shadow layer and here is my text layer. And then you would click go to cut that. And that's how I would create a title with a shadow to cut in Design Space. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.